My name is Kuju Yangsen. Let me tell you how to turn back time. You can now bring back all the fun, all the excitement, all the controversy of the Super Morning Show and all your favorite joy shows when you go to myjoyonline.com forward slash podcasts. Just select your favorite show and bring it all back again. Joy 99.7 FM, radio for discerning listeners. Radio, radio, Joy 99.7. Dasibre Utibwating joins ancestors and the, the late, uh, it has a photograph of the uh, late Dasibre Professor Emeritus Utibwating in all his splendor. It says the Omang Hene of the New Jabeng traditional area in the Eastern region, Dasibre Professor Emeritus Utibwating has passed on age. 83. He died about two weeks ago after a short illness. Multiple sources close to the New Jabin Palace and also the family, which confirmed the incident to the Daily Graphic, said the New Jabin Traditional Council was expected to officially announce the death today. So it's a uh, one uh, tragedy or tragic passing that has been kept quite under wraps because typically, um, you know, journalists are able to break the news, but it looks like this time. It is one of those incidents that they didn't quite get to it. Because usually when, when this thing happens, it will be out there. But yes, so the news is that uh, Dasibre Uti Wating has joined, joined his, ancestors. his ancestors. Yes. So the story can the story continues on page it's three. It's quite a comforting way to break the news of death. Because it, it gives you a sense of, you know, he's going to belong yeah. somewhere as opposed to this vast, dark, open mm -hmm. space that we don't know. COVID-19 yeah. vaccina vaccination uh, triples in Africa, uh, except if you read the story, it's, it still says that well, it's, it's still quite low, even though it's tripled in the last few weeks. It says the, the protecting even 10% of the continent by the end of the year, by the end of September, remains a very daunting task. That's according to the Africa Director of the World Health Organization. And then we move on to the page nine, where there's been an attack on Kabul. It was yesterday, Kabul airport attack kills 13. That's what the Daily Graphic is reporting. But this was yesterday. This morning I was hearing on the BBC that the number of dead have gone past 100. That's quite tragic. The people who had converged at the airport hoping to catch flights out of the country, and they've met their death because of a suicide bombing. Okay, so the other story in the Daily Graphic, that's where you have noticed, Chief Imam supports National Cathedral with 50,000 CDs. So we, I mean, that's, that's quite a general gesture, especially coming from the, he being a Muslim, deciding to support the building of the National Cathedral, which is for Christians. Well, it's not just for Christians. The National Cathedral is for all of us, uh, the entire country. Then, graphic zoom line sanitation dialogue in Buno region today. Eschew exam more practices, that's on education, that's uh, speakers urging WASI candidates. And new JHS curriculum on hold, this is a very important story. So the Ghana Education Service has deferred the implementation of the Common Core program, the new curriculum developed for the junior high schools. The new curriculum would rather be implemented next academic year after enough sensitization, the GES stated, and therefore requested teachers to continue to use the old curriculum to teach. So please take note, you have to use the old curriculum. The, go, the Ghana Education Service goes on to explain that it has to do with COVID. They couldn't get enough time to put the teachers together to sensitize them on the new curriculum before being rolled out, and uh, that's why. Now, financial sector cleanup, the situation of banks was scary, that uh, Dr. Mahmoud Dubaumia, the vice president. Germany supports SMEs for improved for performance. And MPP will break AT a cycle to make history. That's on page eight, the politics page. And uh, support security agencies to deal with threats, deputy NCC chairman. MPP rejects NDC electoral reforms. Oh, why? Ghana North Rhine with failure sign agreement. It has the photo of uh, President Kufuado. 
Then we go to the banking sector again. Fraud hits 1 billion CDs. That's one of the stories we brought to you yesterday. A Bessie murder suspect remanded. And then on the back page, Bagre Dam spillage, NADMO deploys Operation Thunderbolt to flood prone areas. A U.S. ambassador inaugurates health facilities in Tamale. Oh, see, you are becoming a better man for me. I love that. <laughs> Israel did, um, what, how many minutes? Seven or so? So, yeah. All right, great Yeah, but stuff. we had the interaction, so. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Like today I concede. Days. Maybe six. Six? Okay, well done, Israel. We do love you for that. Um, let's do the Ghanaian Times this morning. And on the front page of the Ghanaian Times, disaster looms, thieves steal 50-kilometer railway tracks, an estimated $250 million lost, 10 arrested, and four jailed. Aftermath of Pokwase Interchange Fufu Pounding episode, the Great Accra Regional Minister is on a war path against indiscipline and charges presiding members to stamp it out. I'll bring you more on that story. Africa-Europe relation must focus on trade and investment. I agree, absolutely, and not borrowing. I totally agree. Governments, labor unions must work to create conducive business as according to the vice president. Okay, so let's start from page three. Father of Abessin murder suspects released. Elephants kill resident at Damang Kodanating. Wow. Um, three stray wild elephants attacked and killed a resident um, of the aforementioned place in the Yunyu Nanshuan district of the northeast region. Oh, so it was a 50-year-old man. He was attacked and killed by elephants on his farm. Wow, okay. Um, Pokwasi Fufu joint operators released. So two people were arrested for, by the police for running a Fufu joint on the pavement. They've been released. <laughs> the suspects are 60-year-old and his 32-year-old daughter. And we've been following that story. And, and our indiscipline in, in Ghana is just, it's, it's on a totally different level, completely different level. But um, because we don't enforce the laws. The law. No, but it's even for me, um, it's, all, it's the idea generation. You know, so I'm like, what inspired them? They lay in their beds and as the sun rose, it was an, a eureka moment. Let us therefore go and pound fufu. Yeah, it's because a lot of people have come to believe that we really don't have laws or the laws don't exist. Do you think they were thinking about laws when they were... when the They were not thinking about laws, but we should be in a society where you should know that anything you do is governed by law. By law, yeah. But, I mean, they sleep and they think, yeah, there's no law, so... So I'm going to go and pound for four on the pavement. Um, an international story. For, for them, for them, excuse me, for them, they're like, if I'm pounding for four on the pavement, what crime? What's what my crime? crime? I haven't yeah. gone to steal. I haven't gone to rob anybody. That's all. You're the first person at Multimedia that I've worked with who says excuse me before they interrupt. Oh. Again. Really wow. Nice. Like, I mean, you know how we are journalists. Like, we just interrupt each other and just... Uh, Israel actually says, excuse me, I'm about to interrupt you. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I have other international stories. Excuse me. <laughs> Niger army repels Boko Haram attack and says 16 soldiers were killed. Um, more foreign news. Several killed in explosions inside Kabul airport. Japan's Suga faces challenges in ruling party leadership race. And Israel's Bennett meets Biden in White House. Okay, there's also a two-day climate change investment forum, which is ending in Accra today. And Western North Region records bird flu outbreak. Uh-oh. The case of bird flu outbreak has been detected in the Western North Region, making it the newest region to be affected by the flu since um, its outbreak. The country's case count stands at 28 in Greater Accra, 5 in Central Region, Volta, 2 in Ashanti Region, 7. Remember that we had a conversation on the bird flu a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And um, the most devastating thing is that once a case is found on your farm, they actually just have to kill all the birds and completely disinfect. So please be careful out there. You know, Do what you can to protect your investment. EC must adopt a listening approach to reforms. NPP executives must work, work hard to break the eight-year jinx. Yeah, that's an interesting one, this eight-year jinx. And we'll see how that goes. Only a few more years. GSA to recover $1.7 million owed by 73 shipping lines, increased 20% mineral royalties to 50%.
and the Ghana Mine Workers Union has renewed its call for the current 20% share of the annual mineral royalties allocated to the Mineral Development Fund to be increased to at least 50%. Okay, in the middle page, Africa-Europe relations must focus on, focus on trade and investments. President Akufado has called on Africa and Europe to review its cooperation to focus primarily on trade and investment. He says, quote unquote, the time has come for Europe and Africa to build a sustainable and strategic partnership that ensures prosperity for all. Also, thieves steal 50 kilometer railway tracks. And um, I did that on desk yesterday. And um, the Greater Accra Minister um, cited in page, on page 17 as well, talking about the fufu issue. OK, um, let's move on swiftly um, as we go through the daily. The Ghanaian Times, Gimpa introduces new MA program. Um, OK, the Zongo Development Fund and the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation as a collaborate to ensure the effective broadcast of development-oriented stories about Zongo communities to the country. Um, Dr. Patrick Kumar Boache, the Director General for the Ghana Health Service, has also been speaking. He says COVID-19 kills 38 in 21 days in the Bono region. Wow. Um, okay, so the, the region's death toll has gone up to 72, and the total active cases there are 92. Um, so maybe we can touch base with, with our friends in the Bono region and find out what's going on there. Um, okay, patronage of domestic cards increasing as 17 banks now use Ghana Link cards. Techie keen on increasing investment portfolio in the Ashante region. Okay, let's do some sports. FIFA president intervenes in Players' Cup country row. Obama Young helps Arsenal... Th Arsenal thrash West Brom. Um, <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, Obama Young um, hat tricked. Okay. And that helped Arsenal to welcome the first win of the season as they beat a young, a young, keyword is young, West Bromwich Albion side to reach the Carabao Cup third round. Okay. Well, congratulations to Arsenal for your first win of the season. Now, before at this point, you yeah, come to win a match. Anyway, um, UEFA Champions League draw. Man City is going to face PSG and Chelsea clash with Juventus. Um, so you remember that from, last, um, from the last season, a lot of the really good teams ended up in Port 2. And then obviously the best were in Port 1. And so we're going to find that a lot of um, the initial matches will be between some big names. So it makes it much more interesting. It also gives the um, weaker teams, as it were, the chance to proceed further in the Champions League. So it should be an interesting season. Um, Man City facing PSG and Chelsea facing Juventus. Interesting. Work hard to justify your inclusion. Todd Fede is talking to new players and GBF to mark International Boxing Day. Today on the back page, work begins on 62 kilometer Kofodra Abuasa Road and GRA donates sanitary items to 160 schools. And that's it for the Ghanaian Times. All right, we go to the finder and on the front page, NIC's new policy lands in courts. Only 5,000 cities for funeral if you die from motor accident without spouse and dependents. I'll bring you a bit of the story. It says the National Insurance Commission has been sued for issuing directives that places a ceiling on the amount of money accident victims should be paid as insurance claims. New directives to take effect on Wednesday. The directives which uh, viewed as total shortchanging of accident victims are expected to take effect on Wednesday, September 1, 2021. Mr. Edgar Kweku Rudu, an insurance marketer who disagrees with the approach, has dragged the NIC to the Human Rights Division of an Accra High Court, and he's asking the court to declare the new policy now and void. So it's quite interesting. You may want to get a copy of the finder to read um, the story in full. Then uh, Muhammad's corruption record is unbeatable. That's uh, John Buedu saying that. And Dr. Baumian shares government's first term legacies with ICU. Chief of Staff commends SMEs for embracing technology. And in the center spread of the finder, Ghana North Rhine with failure sign agreement for cooperation in seven sectors. NLC needs permanent labor commissioners. That's what Fosua 
as some of the secretary, secretary saying that. Police roll out surveillance center to check road carnage. And uh, yeah, just about does it for the finder, maybe the sports page. So 20, 2022 World Cup qualifiers are corner sweats over losing key players for South Africa clash. Jan describes 2015 AFCON goal against Algeria as the most important of his career. Okay. And we'll teach this Olympic medal has fulfilled my promise to Mahama Nilante uh, Van der Poy, is the one saying that the former youth and sports minister. Pep Guardiola plans to leave Manchester City in 2023. And, um, Tokyo, okay, so Samotichi is saying he was robbed in the semi final bout, the Ghana Soul Olympic medalist. Okay, That's all right. For That's it for the finder. Um, the Daily Guide this morning, National Chief Imam supports National Cathedral Project with 50,000 Ghana cities. You're reigning corruption king. You're the reigning corruption king. NPP bites Mahama. I'm a sim cannibal caged. Um, NPP delegates hail Bono Chairman's impact. All right. Um, there's this photo thingy thingy on page three about the National Imam um, giving 50,000 to um, the National towards the National Cathedral support. So you can check that one out there. Um, several kills and explosions outside Kabul airport. So people are being advised in Afghanistan not to try to get to the airport because they are expecting that there will be um, some violence around that side. Okay, so this, um, this warning actually came before? Before, yeah. Yeah, and, so the blast, and then the blast happened. And then the blast happened. Um, so yeah, U.S. judge sanctions Trump's election lawyers. I haven't heard about Trump in a while. <laughs> um, trial suggests malaria. We miss him. Do we do? Well, I miss him. Like you miss a rash or you miss the... <laughs> <laughs> trial suggests malaria sickness could be cut by 70%. Ethnic clashes in Ethiopia's Oromia region killed 200 um, okay, police impound Rosewood truck in Savalugu. Presumably, um, the impounded Rosewood will go towards the building of the National Cathedral, yeah. um, which is what we've, we've decided that we're going to do. Okay, somebody's looking for a sperm donor. Um, Shatamichi, okay, uh, that's on page eight. In other news, opportunity call for Ghana to win as the 94th Oscars. That should be interesting. Um, supermodel Nini Annalise named Face of Ghana Model Awards 2021. Okay. Um, let's move on real quick. Um, Pukwasi Interchange for Food Selling Woman Arrested. Oh, gosh. I hope she, she opens a chop bar somewhere else. <laughs> okay, there's a picture of Marco Kwekumante. And on page 18, hello, Mark. Um, government projects $5 billion tourism revenue this year. No, oh, nice. Um, GMB Quantuma is ordered. And on the back page, some news. Ronaldo agrees to city terms. So Cristiano Ronaldo has agreed personal terms ahead of a sensational move to Manchester City, according to reports in Portugal. Um, so his future at Juventus was cast into doubt this summer, and his agent, Jorge, flew to meet the Serie A giant bosses to discuss a resolution this week. But it looks like um, possibly he's going to move to Man City. Interesting. Um, Liberty lift Kantanka Cup, and Jones' Ibu Al Hassan dies, and Ghana loses a football encyclopedia may his soul rest in perfect peace that's it for the daily guys this morning all right so i'll go to the daily dispatch baumia's 2010 published book details his vision of using digitization for economic transformation chief imam donates 50,000 cities to national cathedral fund election 2024 train 50,000 polling agents if you want to win that's uh paul Sabin f Singh saying that essentially he's telling the uh, two major political parties that if indeed they're looking at winning the election, they, it's important that they have enough polling agents. So he says you should have 50, well, 45,000 and then you should have an extra 5,000 so that you can uh, ensure you're policing the polls. Because as they say, Elections are won at the polling stations. All right, essentially, that, that's, um, that's it for the Daily Dispatch. 
Okay, so the Business and Financial Times, really quickly before we move to myjoyonline.com, banking fraud um, cases hit 1 billion Ghana CDs in 2020. That's according to a Bank of Ghana report. 56% of banking sector fraud aided by staff and digital and electronic related transactions fraud is the most worrying. Private sector credit remains sluggish amid COVID-19 fears. Access AFTA through Ghana and NLC push for permanent Commissioner's decentralization on the back page. AMA to enforce 30% green surrounding policy. Oh, that sounds interesting. So the mayor of Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Nia J. Soa, good morning, Ni. How are you? It's been a minute. Has hinted that plans are far advanced for the reintroduction and enforcement of a mandatory bylaw of the Assembly that requires every household to dedicate 30% of their land space to greening. Yes. Okay. Right. According to the mayor, this policy, which has existed for a long time, has been literally ignored, is about to receive some enforcements by his leadership to make sure the assembly achieve, achieves its target of greening. Yeah, okay. I'm not, yeah, okay. One, one of the other arguments made for greening, um, ensuring that not uh, then your entire house is um, paved, paved, paved. is because they, you're supposed to, when it rains, you're supposed to have a part of the house that soaks in water, mm. that takes in water. Otherwise, if you have the whole house paved, each time it rains, all the water from the house is going to end up on the streets. So the, 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 and the that, that increases flooding, actually. Okay, that's, that's a very good point. Yeah. The houses that have no extra space, what are they going to do? I don't know about that. Because like people are really trying to utilize land, so yeah. you know, it's not, not really a lot of us that have like, you know, it's true. pavements and, and tiles and marbles and, and all of that what's not um, that you posh posh folk. Okay, I'm just trying to have a go at you, but I'm sure you get what I mean. Oh, I see a Reku walking into the studio. That gives me joy as well. He'll be bringing us the sports um, news in about three, four minutes. But let's go to myjoyonline.com this morning. And apologies to the EC if you apologize. want. Oh, apologize to the EC if you want electoral reforms heard. That's bobbing a Samoa to the NDC. Why is he asking the NDC to apologize, though? I mean, they also kick a fuss when they lose. Anyways, um, in other news, COVID-19 third wave, a concept. Oh, okay, somebody's getting with the program. We should take it seriously, John Ewa. Yeah, it is a concern. Um, we've been talking about it. I think today Israel is going to spend some time yeah. um, diving into the dashboard. We're going to spend some time. Oh, you like diving into the dashboard. I'm just going to leave you to dive. Um, families of victims of a drug shooting warned committee's report made public. Ghana, North Rhine, Westphalia, sign agreement for cooperation in seven sectors. And Crash Young, Deputy Finance Minister pays for five sets of prostheses for the victims. And these five sets of prostheses are going to last them for 20 years. I did that story yesterday. It's so amazing That's what, great. you know, the kind of help that they've also got. They've also gotten um, um, Dr. Dr. Orleans, Mr. Orleans, who is going to build a three-bedroom house for them. So, you know, Seth and the team, the Ecosystem team, Ecosystem team had raised about 90,000 seeds, and they were going to use it to build. And then this gentleman says, no, 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 no. You keep the 90,000. Let's use it to set the mothers up, the family up. I will come in and I will build this three bedroom house for free. Nice. So amazing stuff. And then they're getting the prosthesis. And I mean, listening to the boys talking about how their lives have changed and they can't walk, they can't run. It's so heartwarming to hear, you know, that they will be able to do all of those things um, again because of your kindness. So very, very big thank you to everyone to do who donates when we call for help. 770,000 Ghanaian workers were affected by COVID-19, that's according to research. And you're reigning king of corruption, that's the MPP, to Mahama. And that's about it for um, our online review. But you can go on myjoyonline.com, there's a lot more news there. Okay, okay, we're going away now, taking a quick break. When we come back, Oreku brings you the sports.